Welcome back. This is lesson 12 of Machine Learning Zoom Camp session 3. And in this lesson, uh, this is the last uh, lesson of this week. And in this lesson, we will uh, see how we can use the model. Um, before we can actually use it, we want to train a final model, the final model. So remember that we use this, uh, we actually trained two models. We trained uh, a model using all the features. It has accuracy 80%. And then we trained a smaller model using only three features we didn't check the accuracy of this model uh, but uh, yes yeah, so what we will do now is we will get the big model with all the features and uh, we'll train this model on uh, our full train data sets so we have this full train uh, data so we will train a, a model using all this data and for that so first what we need to do is we need to get uh, the dictionaries and then from these dictionaries, we get the feature matrix, and then we train a model on this feature matrix. And then we do the same thing for the test uh, data set. And this is how we get the predictions. And then at the end, we will compute accuracy. So let's quickly do this full train. Um, so we need here uh, categorical variables and numerical variables. And then we use the dict method into we're interested in records. So we get the uh, the dictionaries yeah let's take a quick look at the first three yeah so it looks correct and uh, now we need to create this uh dict vectorizer so which is uh dict vectorizer uh, vectorizer sparse false and uh, we can immediately uh, train and uh, fit and uh, transform it so x full train will be dict vectorizer fit uh, transform uh, this list of dictionaries. So we get that. Now we train a model, logistic regression, and we can actually, well, instead of doing this in two lines, uh, uh, we can do this in one. So let's do that. I think what we don't have yet for F, for that, we actually need with the Y here. We don't, I don't think we have Y. So we need to have Y full train, which uh, comes from this full train churn values. Yeah, so we have that. And now let's uh, fit our model. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm not a fan of this chaining. So I usually prefer um, doing it like this in two rows. So we have our model. This is our final model. And now what we can do is we can repeat the process for uh, our test data set so we have uh, dictionaries test and that, oops that frame test uh, yeah we execute that then now we need to apply our uh, dict vectorizer to this so x uh, test then here we only need transform we don't use fit and we apply this to this list of dictionaries so we get that. Now we apply the model. Um, model predict probability on test. And we need the first column. So these are our predictions. Uh, predictions. And yeah, so now we need to make decisions. Uh, let's say uh, we want to, for all the clients with score higher, with probability higher than 0 0.5, we want to predict that they are going to churn. So this will, will be our churn decision. And now what we can do is we can um, see if this churn decision is actually correct. So for that, uh, we need to compare it with our Y test and then compute the score. So this is how we compute accuracy. So it's 81%, it's slightly more accurate than what we had in the validation data set which is fine, maybe in the, uh, the data set is slightly different that has data set that we have. So they have different customers. And also here, we actually used a little bit more data. So if we use more data, the model can become a little bit more accurate. If it was a little bit less accurate, it was also fine. Uh, it would also be fine. So what we here want to uh, avoid is when the difference is too large. So for example, when accuracy uh, on our validation is like 80, uh, 90% or 95%, but on test, uh, 
data set it's 80 then we clearly have a problem so in this case it's only uh, like one percent difference it's not a big deal and we can conclude that this model is good enough and we can actually use this model so we train this model and uh, yeah let's see how we can use this and remember how we wanted to use this so we wanted to use it uh, let's say we have uh, a customer and uh, we want to know if this customer wants to leave or not so we and if we think that this customer is going to leave we want to send them a promotional email asking them not to leave so uh, let's take any customer from our data set i don't know number 10 could be number 10 so number 10 is a male who's a senior who lives with a partner who has uh, dependents um so they have uh, steaming tv they don't have support they or they are on monthly contract and they have tenure of 32 months uh, they pay quite a lot actually uh, yeah so let's see if uh, they are going to churn or not so we do so let's call it customer so this customer so this is our person here so what we want to do now is we want to put this in a score uh, like computer score for that and uh, the way we can do this actually so let's imagine that we have a web service for our model and the information or this dictionary uh, gets transferred over the network to our model so the model computes something and then returns uh, the probability probability so let's imagine a scenario like that so we get a request with all this information about the customer so what we want to do now is we have our dictionary vectorizer so we want to transform this so we want to get um, uh, now we want to get uh, a feature matrix for this customer we actually don't need to convert it first to a data frame like we did previously uh, because uh, we already have a dictionary and we have a dictionary vectorizer that gets in a dictionary and uh, creates a numpy array so we can just use that um, so let's do that um, so we need a list with just one customer and at the, uh, as a result we see uh, yeah so this is our customer let's call it uh, x small so just uh, the shape of this should be x small shape so this one is because there is only one customer and there are 45 features and now let's put this into a model so predict uh, probability x small and the model says uh, the model tells us that this customer is not likely to churn so it's uh, um, so this senior male uh, uh, yes uh, he has uh, only 40 percent probability of uh, churning so which and we think that he is probably not going to churn so we will not send uh, him a promotional email so let's see if he's actually uh, if he's actually planning to churn uh, first was it 10 yeah he was 10 so he was actually not going to churn so in this case our decision not to send him a promotional email is correct um let's see maybe if somebody's uh, going to churn here uh, i don't know um, white test uh, so the last one uh is going to churn and actually for selecting the last one i don't know if i um, we talked about this so for selecting the last one we can just use minus one so let's select the last uh, customer here so we have a female who is not senior who lives with a partner uh, on a monthly contract uh, for uh, she's been with the company for 17 months um, so let's see if she what our model thinks about her so our model thinks that she's going to churn with probability of uh, almost 60 percent which is actually if you remember is correct so we want to send a promotional email to her um, so we want to send a, a like email and offer her some discount and then maybe she will uh, she will change her her mind and will stay with with us so this is how we use the model and uh, yeah 
so in the next next video will be a summary so as i said this video is the last one but there will be another so this lesson is the last one but there will be a final video where i'll just go through the entire notebook and summarize everything